Where, where, where do I begin to describe my style? Um, I don't know the extent of your knowledge of cinema history. Uh, have you heard of Citizen Kane? So, now, one decade on, are you telling me that you're 100% sure these tubes are not intended to create nuclear weapons? One point about intelligence, nothing is 100%. So what, are you 99% sure? No. I'm, I'm saying that you can't put an exact figure out. Is there a 3% chance you've got this wrong? Or four, or five? Still pretty good odds, you like those odds, Paul? You willing to put your name to that? You ready to make that call? Uh, oh, actually, I don't make that call, Yes, you sir. do, Paul. Each time you interpret a piece of data, each time you choose a, a, a maybe over a perhaps, you make a call, a decision. And right now, you're making a lot of little decisions adding up to a big decision. But what if there's only a 1% chance you're wrong? Can you say for sure that you'll take that chance and state as a fact that this equipment is not intended for a nuclear weapons program? Do you know what 1% of the population of this country is? It's 3,240,000 souls. Okay, sir. Look, we're not machines. We look at the evidence, we game it out, and uh, believe it or not, not everybody agrees all the time. It's a process. It's a process. Yes. And not everyone agrees. Exactly. Who doesn't agree? We've always known there was the possibility of firing a spacecraft, but the fear was always that it would happen in space when you're 180 miles from terra firma in the nearest fire station. That was the worry. No one ever imagined that it would happen on the ground. If anyone had thought of it, the test would have been classified as hazardous. But it wasn't. We, we just didn't think of it. Now, whose fault is that? Well, it's North American's fault. It's NASA's fault. It's the fault of every person who ever worked on Apollo. It's my fault. I didn't think the test was hazardous. No one did. I wish to God we had. I've missed you. I missed you too. But then I'm used to missing you. You're not used to missing me. No. Could you please do something about Juliet? Every time I'm outside with the wedding planner, she comes out and starts shooting clay pigeons. Okay, I'll say something. I guess. Also, I need the jet tomorrow. I have to go to New York to get fitted for my gown. How Here. much is that gonna cost? I told you. Around 50000 That's a lot of dress, most right? With this much interest, it would be stupid to disappoint them. Also, right comes over in the morning because that's when McKenna's at school. And Juliet says you all never go out and do anything. You just listen to the same music over and over again. Well, that's not right. We do stuff. Mm. What kind of stuff? Tantric sex. Shit, you lie. I just don't see how you can fuck for that long. It's not about fucking. It's about foreplay. I mean, normally I, I wouldn't tell this, but... Hell, she can spend three or four hours just entertaining the boys with her tongue. Got a second. You're a suspect in an ongoing investigation. We're not allowed to have a conversation. Let me tell you something, you arrogant clown. I didn't shoot your suspects. I wouldn't waste my life on them. Is that how you do your job, officer? Have a safe night.
What am I supposed to do with this? Try not to shoot me in the ass. Who knows why? Well, Bessie makes, maybe we could get a bit together. She's my wife, why? You know I don't like counting on women. Well, hell, I'd count on Bessie ahead of any man I know. What you got against her anyhow? Well, she's a whore, James. Yes, she is wild. And a hard working like that. What are you doing with her? Same thing everyone else is doing with her. The only difference is she doesn't charge me. It doesn't bother you? But she doesn't charge me? Why, no, I'm a I'm rather fond of the arrangement. Hell, on a good day, I can even get her to cook and clean a little. What was that? I didn't hear you. Nothing. If your arrangement doesn't bother you, I guess it doesn't bother me. Well, that's a big load off my mind. Why, hell, I've been losing sleep at night worrying about whether or not my arrangement bothered you. My film's a lot like that. But in color.